Hi, I'm Tommy. Hi, I'm Greg, and we're doing conductors and insulators. A thermal conductor is a material that allows energy in the form of heat to be transferred within the material without any movement of the material itself. An easy way to understand this concept is through a simple demonstration. This experiment is to demonstrate the ability of different substances to conduct heat. What we will need for this experiment is a metal spoon, a plastic spoon, two plastic cups, and boiling water. What you will first need to do in this experiment is to stick your metal spoon into the boiling hot water and let it sit. As you are holding it, you will notice that it's getting hotter and hotter. This is because the heat from the water is causing the particles in the spoon to move faster and faster, causing more thermal energy. An insulator is a material that does not allow the transfer of thermal energy. Materials that are poor thermal conductors can also be described as being good thermal insulators. The plastic spoon is an example of an insulator. You will dip it into the boiling hot cup of water. It will still heat up, but far slower than this metal spoon. The conclusion is, metal is a good conductor, while plastic is a poor conductor. Here are some fun facts on heat conductors and insulators. Heat passes through some materials easily, and these materials are called thermal conductors. Metals usually feel cold to the touch. Metals are good thermal conductors because heat passes through them quickly. Heat does not pass through some materials such as plastic, oven gloves, thermal underwear, cork board, and wood. These materials are called thermal insulators. These thermal insulators are good for keeping heat out as well as in. Some examples of good insulators are a thermos, keeping hot things hot and keeping cold things cold. Another example is a cooler, which deeps the heat out and keeps the inside cool, and a polystyrene cup that keeps the heat in and keeps it hot. Remember that a good insulator is a poor conductor. Insulators often contain pockets of trapped air, like feathers on a bird, and fur on animals to keep them warm. Heat loves to travel and will travel from a warmer material to a colder material. The heat will only travel from hot things to colder things and never the other way around. Some materials allow heat to transfer through easily and some don't. If you boil a teapot on the stove, the pot becomes too hot to touch whereas the teapot handle does not get hot. Wooden objects are good heat insulators and are used for saucepan handles, whereas the saucepan is made out of metal, due to metals being good heat conductors. This allows more heat to pass from the cooker into the food. Thanks for watching!